Before I get started with this ruckus video on rebuilding the ruckus, and we're going to start with the piston, I'm having a few problems uploading my videos, so you'll receive a lot of videos at once. I mean, five or six. Anyway, when I when tearing apart this ruckus, I noticed that the engine cases down here were similar. Besides, this is a three-piece engine case. And the Dio or Elite case is a one piece. And I got to thinking about something. Because most of the motor on the ruckus was all covered up with molding and everything like that. And as I got taking the ruckus apart, I thought, you know, I'm going to try something that might be a good plan, which is. I want to see if I can keep the engine of this 125cc cooler than it was using my regular my regular radiator set up here. I've got a radiator that runs here. Your intake comes in right up here from the motor and it uh, the water goes down and then it goes out this down here. Now that's fine and everything. It's kind of a, it's a pain in the ass when there's a leak. But then I kind of, I just took off the bonnet. It's the bonnet. Uh, I guess you'd say it in uh, what um, England or something like that. And this is what I got in. I'll show it to you. I did some research on the cooling system of the ruckus. And I'll show you what I what I just got in from Florida. This right here is a used Honda Ruckus radiator, right here. Okay, it comes with the radiator unit right here. Plus, on the back, it has a built-in um, fan shroud which is the same size fan as I have and then I've looked through you know the coils and seen how well that they they work and the one nice thing about the, this radiator when I went to research it the radiator itself is like thirty dollars okay I thought oh god that's great because you know a, a YZ or an RM 125 uh, factory radiator is $125, 150 dollars but then I got to do a little, little researching the radiator is thirty dollars, but then you have to buy the cap right here for an extra fifteen dollars, probably. Then you have to turn it over, and this is the um, the uh, the cap for the to drain the radiator. You've got to pay extra for that. So another one other thing I was looking for that I I don't really understand why they've done this, but we'll see if it works but the the uh, the where the water comes out of it is in the bottom and it has a nice little metal nipple right there in the top all it has is a hole now here's where the extra money comes in between the cylinder and the radiator is this little tube it has a it's it's hardwired it has a um, O-ring on one side and an O-ring on the other side. And you can bet that that tube costs you money plus the O-rings cost you money. And the way it goes in is it goes in right here, like this. Somehow. I mean, it, whatever. I got the whole unit for like $25 plus shipping from Florida and that's, you know, that's a damn good deal if it's in good shape, which I believe it is. Now we know that the 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 fans are the same size, so let me walk over here past all my Honda and Ruckus things. And what I'm going to try and do, looking down here, if you see my silver fan right there, you see the fan, and you see the, um, there is the intake for the, for the um, SEF head. I am going to try and take this radiator right here 
and uh, and I, I, this probably will not work on the first blush. You'll know, you'll probably have to take some some fitting to do this. But I am going to try and take this radiator and hook it in right where that fan is. Now think about this. If you think about it for, for just a moment, where the faster I go, the more faster the fan goes and the more it sucks air through here and around the shroud. Also, the, uh, the turnaround time. The water doesn't have to go through five feet of hose all the way up to here, 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 and you can see the hose right, right down there. And then come over here and come back down and then come all the way over to the pump, which is right here. It'll basically stay right in a, in a unit right here, and if uh, that'll, that'll uh, uh, leaks, so it will be easy to fix if it works. And I don't know if it if it the water will go through there too fast to make it too cold or or maybe not work enough. But if I was able to put this little radiator down into here like this, I could get at the fluid a lot easier. I could fix any leaks. I'd have my intake right there. I'd have my um, on the very where is it right there. I'd have the. Uh, uh, where, where it comes out but I the one thing is it can't hit my my pipe that pipe is just that this pipe is just is the best thing in the world for, for my style of riding so I'm not going to change the pipe but or what I could do is take the radiator and plumb it in up here or I could plumb it in a few other places but as long as it's got a fan shroud that fits this fan, as long as this motor will do 70 miles an hour or 117 kilometers amount of an hour, this, the faster it goes, the more air it's going to suck right through it going, not this way, but the other way, this way. It would really uh, be a great, a great, not a great thing, a great, um, what do they call that? experiment and then here's the Honda book again we'll get back to the ruckus